Construction of the Kazamanamunda Toll Road Project began in June 2024. As of March 2025, our preliminary livelihood restoration program is fully active, focused on climate smart agriculture in Kasava and Maize. Infrastructure development can sometimes have unintended adverse effects on rural communities if they're not properly prepared for the influx of economic activity. The support we provide through our livelihood restoration programs is designed to ensure that we mitigate these risks and position all stakeholders for sustainable success. My name is Bob Zere. I'm working for Jed Africa and in the livelihoods restoration program, which we have just kick-started. The Livelihoods Restoration Program is a very essential component in the work which Jed is doing right now. The people who have been affected by the construction of the road and the bridges, the entire infrastructure, some people have lost a little shop or whatever they've lost. This is where the Livelihoods Restoration come into play. We mobilize the communities, train them so that we can restore their lives and even making it better through better agricultural practices and also making sure that we uh, sustain their economies. We are bringing in new technologies, like instead of growing cassava for three years, that's normally how they do it. There are some varieties that have been researched upon, one of them Mweru, which we've chosen to teach the people. This Mweru, it has no diseases compared to, to our local cassava as a very good potential yield. You can see here, this Muero leaf has no disease, no diseases. The leaves or the color is very, very green, no patches, compared to, to our local cassava. As you can see, these are the, the, disease, the diseases Huh? It has patches. Uh, my name is Ilaki Kunda Uitika. I'm working his, here as a livelihood restoration officer. Uh, previously, I used to work in the Ministry of Agriculture in the Department of Agriculture as a, an agricultural supervisor. When I retired from government, I came to join Jade Africa here in Mwense. Here where you, we are standing, there is a, a vegetable garden where we are growing the local vegetables called amaranthas. Amaranthas is a famous local vegetables which is very rich in iron and it's good for us adults the growing children and also the, the young mothers. The advantage to these local vegetables is that it can grow well, even using the chicken manure and also the animal manure, as well as, 
as compost. My name is Engineer Lukonga Ngalama. I'm the irrigation engineer for Mwense District. I work under the Minister of Agriculture in the Department of Agriculture, specifically under the Extension Service. As we interact with the farmers, we discover that there's uh, a gap in information. So because of that, we, we source weather information from meteorological department so that we give them way, uh, temperature and rainfall information that helps them in their uh, planning for the irrigation interval. My engagement with JED started from the onset uh, with the resettlement working group when we were looking at the um, selection of these uh, affected people. As a stakeholder and as an individual representing my ministry, we have worked with JED from the onset, which has been a very strong relationship. Our cassava is in two parts. There is a plot, which is the production which is what you're seeing right now. Production means there's a meter apart to allow tubers to grow so that it is for the consumption for the community. But what we have done also is we have added beans. Beans are growing in between, as you can see, and it is a climber and it is climbing around this. But it's not only that, it is providing shed. It's just like when you, like me, if I don't have my hat on, the sun is directly on me. And so this is providing a shed and it does not evaporate, the moisture does not evaporate so quickly. So it's providing shed. The other thing is that it's providing nitrogen. It's a nitrogen fixing plant. And that is going very well. We've done this in the maize and we've also done this in this uh, cassava. So, Besides, it is going to provide nutrients to our community. Intercropping without having beans in its own right, in its own field. It is being intercropped and then management, weeding, that is shortening the time. So we are very proud and happy with the community uh, that we have done this and the communities have accepted this. All of Judd's sustainability initiatives focus on four key areas, education and training, health and well-being, infrastructure and access, and economic advancement. All of our programs follow a consistent development methodology, focusing on needs assessment, tailored content, multiple channels of communication, monitoring and evaluation, and strategic partnerships. I'm John Simpinde. I was engaged by Jen in the year 2023 as a leader. A year later, 2024, I was promoted as the head leader, of which I managed six leaders. Thereafter, some three months ago, uh, the program of restoration was introduced. Then I was also given another task to look after the new three leaders, meaning I have nine leaders. I aim. Uh, my name is Azimba Purit. Here at Jed, I'm employed as a Lily. At other demo plot, I'm under agriculture. Here, we teach people how to grow things. We started this demo plot last year in October. We started with clearing the land. After we cleared the land, we started with the maize field. We cleared the land, we made leaves and planting. And when planting, we didn't just go straight in planting maize. We started with putting fertilizer. After putting fertilizer, we put the maize and cover it up. And then after we finished with the maize field, we started clearing the land for cassava. We cleared the land and made the leaves. And then after finishing making the ridges, Mr. Chimpinda went to Kawamba to collect the bundles. He came with the bundles. Some bundles were left here at the demo plot. Some we gave to the community. Zambia. kutufundisha namuna ya kurima, kurima mioko na minji. Na ile wakati ya kumukongo tulianza kulima tu kilimerime tu. 
Sasa hapa wakati tulifunzaka hii mafunzo ya kusema tuanze kurima hapa na tufundisha. Njo huku sasa tunanza kunyorosha mituta. Juu ile wakati tulianza kulima tu kilimerime ma mituta ya distance. Sengine na motokari itaweza inapita amo. Sasa hapa a a. Tunashukuru Mungu juu tuisha kufuata mafundisho ya bagets. Tunanza kunyorosha na mituta. Kwenye hivi wanasa mbira kukuli wa jedi hili otuwali kufiuti. Watu sambilishe mili mine ya mputa. Hivi otufuile tuwa kwa taspesi ya mputa. Hivyo then hivyo tuinga biyala mbuto shesu. Na hivyo tuinga bika fertilizer hivyo tatura biyala. Na pakuisa bika patopu udia ni ishi ifuile ya kwa ta ni ishi na isa nsuga kwa na ifikali mbima kofi. So mwili chichonse. Chia tula ngiri ili ogutila, ilo tuwa ishile kwa mfei method. Tuwa sa ngiri ogutila, ubuli mi wawa jedi. When this program was introduced to me by Bob, um, he explained it all, and he emphasized that uh, this is more like a corporate social responsibility. The project is attached to Mwenda Kosemero Road, and it's the pro program that will be undertaken by Jade. But uh, immediately when the project started, we started seeing some benefits. And uh, according to how Bob explained, uh, the company looked at some of the challenges that are in this community and more especially the next in poverty. I think we, we cannot hide. According to the developmental index of Lopopolis, Lopla is the uh, third poorest province in the country. <music> A critical component to a successful livelihood restoration program includes access to market. This is often overlooked. Jet Africa is already in engagements with potential off-takers to ensure that the surplus produced by our lead farmers has a guaranteed market. My name is Abwale Elias. Yes, I am a cassava agronomist. I work for Zembin Bruis. My name is Nyemba Kombi Katongo. I'm a sustainability officer. I work for Zambian Bruis. Mansa. I think for me, uh the moment I arrived here, I observed that um, uh, what I can see is no different from the conversations that Bo and I have been having, you know, through a few meetings that we've had regarding cassava production. Yeah, so this is a demonstration plot for cassava meant to, you know, uh, teach smallholder farmers on better agricultural practices. And I think from the conversations then, uh, we have been talking about how we can help our smallholder farmers, you know, uh, first improve their methods of agriculture, leaning towards sustainable agriculture methods, and most importantly, just improve their access to improved seed material like Mweru. Yeah, so um, I think from what I can see, um, the planting was on point, and I have no doubt that the farmers will get the best of, you know, what they are supposed to looking at uh, how this demonstration plot has been, uh, you know, uh, set up. And I think one of the uh, most important things that we talk about when we talk about uh, good agricultural practices or sustainable agriculture is the aspect of crop rotations, you know. So I can see that while we are focusing on cassava, 
there are also other crops here or already the cassava itself has been interpropped with the beans you know which is already doing some good to the soil when you talk about the you know soil productivity and all of that other than that there's also maize so we do not expect a farmer to use the same portion of land over and over by growing cassava on it and expect to maintain productivity but we expect them to crop rotate you know so if they are uh, uh, also guided on you know uh, uh, venturing in other crops like maize then that will help with that yeah so a very good experience for me and i think I'm, I'm i'm very excited with what i'm seeing it's not far from my language you know This year, we'll launch the Phase 2 expansion of the Livelihood Restoration Program, which will include the first farm in the Democratic Republic of Congo and the second in the Republic of Zambia. Our resettlement activities in the Livelihood Restoration Programs follow international best practice. Jet Africa is taking it one step further with a multi-million dollar sustainable impact fund. This fund will be allocated over the life of the 25-year concession agreement. The fund will be used for healthcare, education, and other social infrastructure initiatives. <laughs> Kalunga 